Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the topic Stirling's method. In the previous lectures, we discussed Newton's forward and backward difference formulas. Newton's forward and backward difference formulas are not appropriate for approximating the function f of x when x lies near the center of the table. We know we were used Newton's forward formula to approximate the function f of x when x lies at the beginning of the table and the backward formula we used when x lies at the end of the table. If x lies near the center of the table, we cannot use the Newton's backward and forward formula. To approximate the function f of x when x lies near the center of the table, a number of divided difference formula are available. These methods are called centered difference formula. That is, the centered difference formula are used to approximate the function f of x when x lies near the center of the table. Here we will consider only one centered difference formula which is Stirling's method or Stirling's centered difference formula. For the centered difference formula, we choose x0 near the point being approximated and label the nodes directly below x0 as x1, x2, etc. And those directly above as x-1, x-2, etc. That means if we need to approximate uh, uh, the function f of x uh, where x lies uh, near the center, so we can uh, consider or, or we can choose the x0 near the point uh, we have to approximate. So if uh, the x lies uh, uh, near this point x0, so we can choose x0 as this point and uh, these points are we can denote as x1, x2, x3, etc. And the numbers above that uh, x0 we can uh, uh, denote as x minus 1, x minus 2, etc. So the table is actually uh, the same table uh, that is the same uh, divided difference table. So here this is the actually here f of x0 this is this uh, 0 to divide difference f fx minus 2 this is fx minus 1 fx0 fx1 fx2. And using these two, we can find the first divided difference uh, fx minus 2 minus fx minus 1 divided by x minus 2 minus x or x minus 2 minus x minus 1, etc. So these are the first divided difference by, by using these two. And this is the first divided difference by using these two, etc. And this is the second divided differences. Okay, these are the second divided difference by using uh, to obtain this, we can use this and this. And to obtain this, we can use this and this and uh, these. Okay. And uh, for f of x0, x1, x2, we can use this and this. So, uh, similarly, we can find uh, the third divided differences and fourth divided differences, etc. Okay, it is depends on the uh, number of uh, data points. This is actually the same table what we used for the uh, backward differences and the forward differences. The only difference is that uh, the notations are changed here. Uh, for backward differences and forward differences, we used the notations x0, x1, x2, etc. But here, for center difference formula, we can use uh, the x0 uh, near the point we need to uh, uh, approximate. Okay, so the only difference is that the in, in notation only, uh, the difference formula are, are same. Okay, so by using these uh, divided differences formula, we can approximate the function, the values of uh, f of x uh, by using the Stirling's formula. Now the Stirling formula is this, uh, pn of x is equal to p2m plus 1 of x if uh, n is odd, if n is odd, that is if n is equal to m plus 1, that is if n is odd, then we can use this formula, that is f of x0 plus s into h by 2 f of x minus 1 x0 plus f of x0 x1, that is f of x0 is this and this is f of x0 plus S in SH divided by 2 into fx minus 1 x0 plus fx0 x1. Okay, that is SH divided by 2 into this plus this. And then third one is S square into H square into this f of x minus 1 x0 x1. Now for using these two, we can use this that is uh, S into S square minus 1 divided by 2 into H cube. Here we have s, then s square, then s into s square minus 1 divided by 2 into h cube. That is uh, into this plus this. That is this plus this. Okay. The next one will be s square 
into a square minus 1 a square into a square minus 1 into h power 4 here we have h square so a square into a square minus 1 into h power 4 into this etc okay so uh, the last will be this s into a square minus 1 that is this s into a square minus 1 etc a square minus m square into h power 2 m plus 1 divided by 2 into this this last uh, member is only for uh, if n is equal to 2n minus 1 that is if n is odd if n is even that is if n is equal to 2m we use the same formula but delete the last line that is we can use this last we can delete this last line uh, if uh, n is an even number that is if n is equal to 2m that is here we have h power 2m and if n is equal to 2m plus 1 we have to continue up to h power 2m plus 1 that is h power n right so here we have f of x naught this s into h then uh, next one is s square into h square the next one is s into s square minus 1 into h cube divided by 2 the next one is s square into s square minus 1 into this etc so into h, h power uh, 4 etc so uh, th these entries are used in this formula are underlined in this table that's so in first uh, term we can use this only and the second term we can use these two and third one is this only that is f of x minus 1 x naught x1 and next one is we use this two then this one etc now uh, we can discuss an example consider the given table of data this is the same table we used in the previous lectures use trillings formula to approximate f of 1.5 with x naught equal 1.6 here we have the data points a uh, 1 1.3 1.6 1.9 and 2.2 that means h is equal to 0 0.3 so we have to approximate the function value of f at the point 1.5 so 1.5 will be uh, lies here so uh, we can choose 1.6 as x naught and also we are given in this question also we have to choose x naught equal to 1.6 so here uh, we have to approximate f of 1.5 so x is equal to 1.5 and we are taking x naught is 1.6 and h is equal to 0 0.3 so we have x equal to x naught plus s into h implies x is equal to 1.5 this is equal to x naught is 1.6 1 1.6 1 .6 plus s into 0 0.3 that means uh, we have s is equal to 1.5 minus 1.6 that is uh, negative 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.3 this is equal to uh, minus 1 by 3 so s is equal to 1 by 3 so uh, to use the sterling formula first we have to create the uh, difference table so by using these values uh, we have we, we can use this uh, this is uh, 1 1.3 1.6 etc so we are taking this as uh, x naught so this is x1 this is x2 this is x minus 1 this is x minus 2 correspondingly this will be f fx minus 2 fx minus 1 fx naught fx1 fx2 etc so uh, we have uh, yeah here we have x equal to 0 0.3 x naught equal to 1.6 and uh, x is equal to 1.5 so we get s is equal to minus 1 point and 1 by 3 uh, here uh, for five data points are given so we have uh, n is equal to 4 so this is actually 2 into m where m is equal to okay so we know uh, the trailing formula is given by this so here we have to replace n by 4 so phi p4 of x that is m equal to n is equal to uh, 4 and m equal to 2 that is n is equal to 2m so m equal to 2 so we have to repeat this up to this so h, h power uh, 2 into m that is h power 4 m equal to is so h power 4 up to uh, up to this we have to repeat so uh, the p4 of x will be f fx naught plus this plus this plus this then then next term will be s square into s square minus 1 into h power 4 into f of x power x minus 2 x minus 1 x naught x1 x2 that will be p4 of x so uh, by using this uh, m equal to 2 and n equal to 4 we have from that uh, stirling's formula we have this stirling's formula is given by p4 of x p4 of x is equal to fx naught plus s into h divided by 2 fx minus 1 fx naught that is uh, this point this and fx naught plus uh, fx naught x1 is this 
plus s square h square into this f x minus 1 x naught x 1 that is this point uh, then s s square minus 1 h cube divided by 2 into this that is the sum of these two and the last one is this that means uh, s square s square minus 1 h power 4 f x minus 2 f x minus 1 f x naught uh, x 1 x 2 so that is this value okay so uh, we have uh, that that is p4 of x so uh, the approximate value of f of 1.5 that is here we are taking x equal to 1.5 this is the this is actually approximately equal to p4 of x but we have x is equal to x0 plus sh that is uh, x0 plus s into h that is this is x0 this is s this is h so x0 plus sh that is p4 of x is nothing but we can replace these values that is this difference values here so we have from this table we have uh, fx naught is this this is fx naught so uh, we replaced that this plus then we have s into h by 2 this is s this is h uh, h by this is by 2 right uh, into fx minus 1 x naught plus fx naught x1 so uh, these two values this and this minus 0 0.548946 and this so uh, we, we replaced that values here okay then next one is s square h square so we have this s square this is s square and this is h square into fx minus 1 x naught x1 fx minus 1 x naught x1 is this value so the minus 0 0.0494433 that is this and the next one is next term will be s into s square minus 1 into h cube by 2 that is uh, this is s this is s minus s square minus 1 into h cube divided by 2 is here into this plus this fx minus 2 x minus 1 x naught x1 plus fx minus 1 x naught x1 x2 so that is we are adding these two values from this table and the last uh, we have this is the difference uh, uh, that is for the divided difference fx minus 2 minus 1 x my x naught x1 x2 so uh, here the last term is in, in this uh, formula is s square s square minus 1 into h power 4 that is s square s square minus 1 into h power 4 into the last is this divided difference that is uh, fourth divided difference that is 0 0.0018251 that is this fx minus 2 fx minus 1 x naught x1 x2 that is uh, 0 0.0018251 so simplifying these values we will get 0 0.5118200 as uh, the approximated value of f, uh, f at the point 1.5 if you are taking x naught as 1.6 so f of 1.5 is approximately equal to 0 0.5118200.